Hi guys, good morning to you. I hope you're doing really well today. So, today we're talking about transportation. Water, air, and land transportation. There are types of transportation like trucks and airplanes. So today we're going to learn more about them. This lesson might be a little bit smaller, so I know some of you are very familiar with some of these words, but I want you to try to learn them again because it's important to learn things more than one time. It helps you remember, it helps you to practice, it helps you exercise the knowledge you already have. What type of transport? Okay, what type of transport is this? You guys know that this is a car, and a car drives on land, air, or water. Do you guys know? Is it land, air, or water? A car drives on land. So, this is a car and a car drives on land. It is land transport. Now, this is a bicycle and a bike, they have a bicycle. It drives on land, air, or water. Not water. You can't ride a bicycle in the water. But you can ride a bicycle on the land. So it is a land transport. And what type of transport is this? This air balloon travels by air. So this air balloon is by air. Air transport. Can you guys say that? Air transport. Hot air balloon. This airship travels by air. Not land, not water, but by air transport. Okay. And this thing, do you guys know what this is called? This is a submarine. A submarine goes by water. So which one is water? Land, air, and water. So water. And what type of transport is this? This is a space shuttle. A space shuttle or space ship. And to leave the atmosphere on Earth, it starts on Earth and it goes and that fire com is combusting with oxygen. It needs air to be able to propel itself into space. So this is an air transport. There's an air transport space shuttle. Spaceship or space shuttle. And this guy, we all know, a tractor goes by land. And then this boat or sailboat goes by water, doesn't it? It's not by land and not by air, but by water. A sailboat is water transport. And here is a Formula One racing car. A racing car goes by land. We all know that. Land. And then we have a helicopter here. A helicopter goes by water, land, or air transport. Not land and not water, so it goes by air transport. Cool. And then we have a bus, very familiar, very similar to the buses in Prague and Uholichki, a public transport bus goes by land. A bus is land transport. And here is a lorry. A lorry travels by land, right guys? Yep, so a lorry is land transport. So a car travels on land and a boat travels by water. Some of you guys might have forgotten that information and it might be new for some of you too. So this is transport around the world. Transport around the world. We all use very different modes of transport around the world. Can you name a few modes now? A mode of transportation is a type of transportation, like traveling by bike, or traveling by horse, or traveling by spaceship, or traveling by sled a uh, dog sled even let's find out some of those modes of transportation now around the world some modes of transport have changed a lot over time and some have not can you explain why let's click on the headings to find out more so we have north america can you guys say this after me opakwata north america south america North America, South America. What's up? This is Africa. And then Europe is completely covered, isn't it? And then we have Asia. And we have Australia or Oceania. 
Um, and then we have Antarctica, which is really, really big. Okay, Alaska. Here is Alaska in the United States of America. Let's look back up here again. Let's go back one. So Alaska, so we have a USA, USA is here, and then Canada is here, but America also is here on the west side of Canada. It's a big, big, big state called Alaska. Here is Alaska. It's very mountainous. It's very cold. Alaska is very, very snowy. So Alaska has tons and tons of snow. Knowing this can, knowing that it has lots of snow, can you think of different ways that people might travel? Do you think that they ride bicycles in Alaska very much? Alaska use sled dogs. Many people use sled dogs. So here is a dog sled. Opakweta, sled, okay? So, and then they attach all of these dogs together and the dogs pull these sleds over the snow. Alaska ski doos. Here's a ski do. Or a snowmobile. A snowmobile. Because there's so much snow, it doesn't make sense to drive because the tires on a car get stuck in the snow. Although they do drive cars there too when it's not super snowy. Okay, let's go back to the map real quick. So that's Alaska. They have ski doos or snowmobiles. And they have, what's the second one? Dog sleds, dog sleds. So let's look at San Francisco in California in the US. So they have trolleys or trams as well. San Francisco is in North America. It is in California in the USA. Trams are a popular mode of transport in San Francisco as there are a lot of hills in the city. So it's a very hilly city, many, many hills. And they have a lot of trams up and down these rails like in Prague, but the trams look a bit different. Here, oh. Let's go back to the map. So San Francisco has trams. Alaska has sled dogs and uh, snowmobiles. Now Venice. Venice is a city in Italy. So Venice is now, we are now in Europe, in Italy. People often travel on the rivers in a long, narrow boat called gondolas. Have you guys ever been on a gondola before? So Venice, the city, has water, has canals, has rivers all through the city. So they don't have a lot of streets. They have these small boats called gondolas. Can you guys say that? Gondolas. And they ride on these gondolas to traverse the city. Okay, back to the map. So that's Venice. And now we have the Maldives. Here's the Maldives. Wow, that is, is that ugly or is it pretty? Is it beautiful? To me, that is incredibly beautiful. The Maldives are a large group of tiny islands in the Indian Ocean. They're a large group of islands in the Indian Ocean. Boats are commonly used to get from one island to another. So in this country, they have many, 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 many islands. I think it's Ostrov in uh, Czech. So many, 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 many Ostrov. Tons and tons of islands. So to get from island to island, they need boats. So they take boats to get to island to island. They can't drive because there's not many bridges from these islands to get to each other. Seaplanes are used for a faster way to travel. So this special special plane has these big things here and it helps them land on the water so if this is the water it lands goes and it lands on the water isn't that crazy seaplanes can hold up to 15 people inside so you can put 15 people inside the plane they can take off from 
and land on the surface of the water. All right, so that's the Maldives in a seaplane and boats, Venice in gondolas, San Francisco in trams, and Alaska in snowmobiles and dog sleds. Last one we have is Thailand. Can you guys say Thailand? In Thailand, Bangkok. This is the capital city of Thailand, Bangkok. The city is called Bangkok. So like Prague and Czech Republic, and Bangkok is the city in Thailand. Tuk-tuks, this is a tuk-tuk. Can you guys say that word? Tuk-tuk. Tuk-tuks work in a similar way to taxis. Some people choose to travel in them as they are smallest and easier to move around. So this is a tuk-tuk. And a tuk-tuk is like in, the, in Prague in taxis or Ubers. And you, you text like an Uber. You can use the app. You can choose an Uber or you can get a taxi if you call a taxi. And in Thailand, they have tuk-tuks. And a tuk-tuk is like a taxi. Okay, so we have Alaska, San Francisco, Venice, Maldives, and Thailand. And in Thailand, you have tuk-tuks. Maldives, you have boats and seaplanes. In Venice, you have gondolas. In San Francisco, you have trams. In Alaska, you have snowmobiles, or you have a sled dog. Transport questions. Which types of transport look the most fun to you? And which ones are better for the environment? So what uh, mode of transportation seems most fun to you guys? To me, um, I think the mode of transportation that is most fun would be the dog sled because you can ride on the sled with the dogs, and I like dogs, so you could go really fast on the snow, and I love snow, so that would be really cool. And you're in the mountains, and I love mountains, just seems fun to me. Also, I think uh, using a uh, speedboat, like a boat with a big motor, so it goes really fast in the water, so it's like and you go in the water, it would be super fun. And I think the last one is probably a horse. A horse is really, really fun to ride. Have you guys ever ridden a horse? What is the second question? Which ones are better for the environment? So which mode of transportation is best for the environment? I would say probably, of all of those, a gondola a gondola needs no petrol and it doesn't waste anything. You just push it with a stick, the gondola. So it's best for the environment. It doesn't make the world smell bad with pollution. The petrol doesn't go stinky. You know, I would say the dog sled. The dog sled is best for the environment too because it uh, also doesn't use any petrol. That's my answer. What do you think? What mode of transport is best for the environment? In this worksheet, you will match each picture to the word. Each picture has a number, and you put the number in the box next to the correct word. So where's the bicycle? You guys can do that. It's easy. And then this is a question, the, quest, the quickest, which? Mode of transport is the quickest. Which is the quickest? Which one can get from place to place the quickest? And then which one can actually travel the fastest? I think a train can travel the fast. No, a plane can travel the fastest. But a train is probably the quickest. And then the slowest, you guys can do that. And then next is very easy. You just match land, water, and air to the mode of transport it belongs to. So to a car, land. To a, a ski do, I mean a sea do, or a jet ski, water. And you guys can do that. And then you have a fun one, hidden pictures. And then you have a worksheet. 
I mean a word search. So you can put, you can find car, etc. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson, and I hope to see you guys soon at school. Bye, everyone.